hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video i am very excited because i did receive my may ipsy icon box which was super fast on the shipping so i'm hoping everything's okay and everything's good if you don't know what icon box is it is a quarterly subscription you pay 64 dollars a month well at least i pay 64 dollars a month and you get to have this big box with a curator a celebrity icon curator and then you get to choose five out of your eight products and you get to choose three but let's get started with what i got and let's get started with what the curator chose for me so the first product i have in here is the anastasia beverly hills cream bronzer in amber this retails for 35 dollars forget the sun and it's damaging uv rays this revolutionary cream bronzer helps to add weightless sun-kissed glow and multi-dimensional warmth to your skin that rivals a real suntan sculpting and contouring are also a cinch thanks to its streak-free formula that goes on matte so you get a seamless second skin finish in every sweep pick up a small amount of this bronzer with a buffing brush and apply it lightly to areas where you want to add warmth or to contour blend until it's diffused founder Anastasia has been a go-to beauty specialist for top celebrities for years and has single-handedly turned perfect brows and youthful eyes into essential accessories this bronzer was actually really nice to apply to the skin i think it added a nice bit of warmth it didn't really lean too warm i thought at first that this was gonna lean very very warm it did not lean as warm as i thought it would at least it looks really warm in the packaging it's fine i didn't notice anything too warm about it i think it actually went on pretty nicely and it looks very natural so that's really nice i've never tried this product before so i'm glad to have it i like the packaging i think it's really nice nice really cohesive and it's very cute excited to continue using the bronzer the next product i received in my icon box is the anastasia beverly hills magic touch concealer in four this has a value of 29 dollars they don't call this concealer magic for nothing the creamy buildable formula somehow corrects brightens and blurs all while still looking like skin using the wand swipe the product directly under your eyes over breakouts and discoloration or anywhere you want extra coverage then blend Blend it out with your finger or a beauty sponge. It's vegan and cruelty free. At first, I thought this color was going to be too light. I was like, you know, I am not into the 2016 eye anymore. I'm like past that. And it is a little light. It's not really what I would pick if I were shopping for myself, but it definitely works for me as a great eye brightener if I need to really brighten the eyes or that's the look I'm going for I feel like I would use this or if I didn't have a little bit of color I feel like since the sun is out more I do have a little more color so maybe like in the winter this will match me better I also think that it oxidized a little because it doesn't look too alarming now but when i first put it on it did look a little bright and it looked like it was taking over everything so i'm very glad that it doesn't look too crazy the next product is the modern renaissance eyeshadow palette from anastasia beverly hills this has a value of 45 dollars inspired by the resins and paints used in renaissance artwork this palette houses 14 eyeshadow shades ranging from neutral creams to rich berries in matte and metallic finishes they're easy to blend and highly pigmented a double win using your finger or brush smooth the velvety pigments onto your lids and blend to a diffused finish it's 100 percent cruelty free and made without parabens and i'm so excited to have this because if you guys watched my choice video i spoke about how this right here is a piece of my makeup history and it was one of the first eyeshadow palettes that i've ever purchased and I used the crap out of it. I wanted to compare and contrast the palettes. This is how it looked when I first got it. And this is how it looked when I was done with it. I mean, I did love it. I'm wearing this on my eyes right now. Actually, I feel like I didn't feel like I needed this palette again until I used it. It's still like very good and timeless. So this is mine. <laughs> it's seen better days 
it's seen a lot better days but i really enjoyed this palette obviously i use a lot of these shades a lot of the time and from the looks of it one of my favorite shades in this palette was burnt orange so i incorporated that in my look today i actually love the eyeshadow that i'm wearing today and i didn't think i would because when you know this palette came out we were in a different era <laughs> so this is what it's supposed to look like and this is what mine looked like <laughs> do we see difference in coloration like what is going on i don't know i definitely do see like a difference in coloration in some shape this definitely this is like seven or eight years old by now it, it's seen better days it's still something that i don't think i'll ever get rid of it's just i have good fond memories with this one and uh she is the moment so i'm glad to have a new one i quite enjoyed the eyeshadow that i'm wearing today i feel like i would bust this out if i need like quick neutrals like this very easy very simple and i feel like i have a lot of single shadows that i can probably pair with this so maybe that would work very well actually the shades blended beautifully they looked wonderful i thought it was like dated and like i wouldn't like it because of the dated formula i actually really enjoyed it i think it's a really nice palette so i'm very happy to have that in my collection yet again the next item that was chosen for me is this volition beauty golden eye brightening serum with vitamin c and niacinamide this product has a value of 40 dollars dark circles puffy under eye bags and fine lines say goodbye with help from this vegan and leaping bunny certified cruelty free eye serum it's powered by vitamin c and niacinamide to help reduce dark circles deep puff your under eyes and smooth out your crow's feet for brighter more youthful looking eyes twice a day use the tip of your ring finger to gently tap a dime-sized amount of the serum all around your eye area volition beauty creates one of a kind clean products for the beauty community by the beauty community so i will say this is like an air pump kind of package so i was sitting there pumping this for a long time and i was like is it broken like what's going on why isn't it pumping but i actually figured it out i just kept pumping it and eventually it came out but after i did that i'm like half of the product is gone like i don't it looked like there was more in here but now it's just it's like literally half empty the pump is like the start of the pump is up here where it should be down here because i haven't used this before so i don't know what's going on with that but i did use it today i used it under everything and i don't think it helped much my eyes look kind of dry could be the concealer it could be me i don't really like this concealer i i have been wearing it now for about an hour and it's creasing pretty bad like pretty 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 bad it looks good when i'm just like relaxing my face but like if by any chance you're up close and i'm like you're gonna see the creases and it's not gonna look pretty the last product that was chosen for me is this skin ink body sculpt fit serum so this has a value of 32.50 this velvety lightweight body serum uses a power combo of antioxidant rich caffeine vitamin c licorice niacinamide and more to help contour tone and smooth appearance of uneven skin for a visibly bright brighter and healthier glow apply liberally all over the body concentrating on affected areas such as arms belly and thighs the uplifting scent of yuzu and bergamot conjure a sensory escape so you can put your best body forward skin ink is all about bespoke fuss free skincare that fusses the latest technology decades of skin aging research and your current environmental and lifestyle factors to determine what your skin truly needs so, uh, I accidentally opened this, swatched it, and I found out that it's not cruelty free. So I will go ahead and pass this along to my grandma. She don't care. She'll use it, and I don't have to feel guilty about it. So I'm sad that I can't use this. Like, I'm really sad because I did try it, and it seemed really nice. So I'm just going to pass it along. I don't want it. I have tons of body lotion that's cruelty free that I can use. Plus, if you didn't see Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I am like changed. I have a I'm tra I'm traumatized. Yeah, I'm not I'm just going to pass this along. I, I don't want to feel guilty about having it or trying it, even though I already do feel kind of guilty for trying it. That was my mistake. I should have done the research beforehand, but we're good here. It's fine. I just pass it along, but it it was nice. Let's get into the choice products that I chose. The first one is the Saint Jane Beauty Luxury Sun Ritual Pore Smoothing SPF 30 Sunscreen. Wow, this 
is insane okay i don't want to be like spoilers but this is so good <laughs> So this has a value of $38, a skin perfecting mineral sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast. Sign us up. This nearly invisible sheer formula is full of antioxidants from hibiscus and green tea to help promote your complexion, while jasmine and desert rose help nourish your thirsty skin. Use liberally as the last step in your skincare routine. Wait at least 15 minutes before sun exposure and don't forget to reapply. I conveniently forget to reapply. <laughs> it doubles as a primer for its pore blurring properties. St. Jane Beauty is a luxuriously clean beauty collection powered by potent flowers known for centuries to calm skin issues. The brand's thoughtful science-backed formulas are award-winning because of their efficient results. This is fancy, okay? There is no telling that after this is done and I... I'm done with this product that I'm gonna pay $38 to buy it again but this is a fancy sunscreen here and I thought this was gonna smell like exactly what it says hibiscus green tea and desert rose I thought I was gonna smell this and be like uh you know because of florals don't ever like really go well with me but this was didn't smell like anything it smelled like skincare basically it's super sheer it's vegan it's reef safe I didn't check if this was cruelty free either. It was cruelty free, guys. I'm so excited. I was like, I'm glad because this is really good and I'm really excited to continue using it. I'm glad that I'm not running into another cruelty free issue. Wow, that sucks when you do run into them but it's fine amazing sunscreen i would highly recommend picking that up really good i'm wearing it underneath all of this because i just i needed to try it the pores where are they where are they because i don't see them it's really good i enjoyed it i'm happy with it so the next product that i chose was the anastasia beverly hills satin lipstick in warm peach this has a value of $23. Get beautiful lips in a flash with this highly pigmented soft peach lip color that lasts. The emollient formula is soft and smooth for comfortable wear so you can achieve effortless glam for any occasion. Begin by outlining your cupid's bow then fill in the remainder of your top lip. Outline your bottom lip and fill it in too. You guys, I don't know what, what went wrong here and how I could mess up a lipstick, but this is not great. This is not great. When I put this on my lips, it accentuated everything I did not want it to, and I don't really, I don't have that problem, even though I do have very dry lips at times. My lips are dry, but I did put a lip oil before I even did anything. I had a lip oil on that usually nourishes my lips, and then I put this on, and it just looked super dry like super super dry i don't know i really didn't like this i'm kind of sad the color is pretty i don't know it just didn't really work well with me i feel like i have to try this again when my lips are less dry so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i mean i already used it i don't think anyone can use it now even though i thought i would like it you know it's a 23 dollar lipstick i have lipsticks from elf that i enjoy more but you know we'll, we'll we'll move on from that and then the last product that i chose for my box is the kate somerville dry skin saver this has a value of 56 dollars this replenishing cream is like a soft comforting hug for sensitive and stressed out skin fragrance free and highly versatile this lightweight formula helps provide instant relief from dryness tightness and roughness anywhere you feel it use this whenever and wherever you need it skincare guru kate somerville's innovative and results driven products make healthy and super effective skincare available for all i love this this is incredible i don't know if i'd ever pay 56 dollars for it though it's that's a hefty price this is such a nice thick cream oh my god i used this underneath my makeup today and i didn't expect to love it as much as i did because i thought it'd be a thick you know it says for face body and lips so i was like oh it's gonna be super thick and unwearable and I should use only a little bit, which you should only use a little bit because a little bit does go a long way. But no, this is actually just a pretty nice thick moisturizer that I feel like I need because I'm a dry bitch. So I am definitely going to get use out of this. I feel like it's best 
for me to use it at nighttime while you know I'm sleeping so my skin stays nice and hydrated so that's how I'm gonna use that and I'm very excited about it and with my order I did get two add-ons unfortunately I opened one of them it was shattered so I'm now waiting for Ipsy to help me out but it is the Anastasia Primrose palette let me see if I can by any chance show you what has happened here so the shade Rosewater and Fire Opal are no longer with me. This shade and this shade are shattered. So, but this is the palette. I have the plastic cover on it so I don't get fallout everywhere. But that is a palette. I'm hoping that I can get a replacement because I really wanted to try this one because I haven't tried it. But you know, shit happens and shit breaks in the mail when Ipsy doesn't package it right. So that's literally what happened. I think I picked it up for $18 and it retails for $55. Rosy and pink hues with pops of iridescent shimmers make this lush 12 shade palette perfect for helping you create all your romantic eyeshadow looks and cheek flushes. And then another add-on that I did purchase for $12 I believe was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam 2 mini eyeshadow palette. I was kind of hoping to see soft glam in here but it's okay because I've been wanting this palette since it came out and I just haven't bit the bullet yet because it is a neutral palette and I was just like why do I need another neutral palette but this one is just so cute so cohesive I feel like this is perfect for me if I just want neutrals and I just need them on the go or if I'm going on vacation I want something glam but not too much something small and simple that I can take with me this is perfect I love it I love that the packaging kind of matches modern renaissance and the original soft glam as well I'm just really excited to have this. This is super cute. I can't wait to use it. I might use like a little short video with it or something. Super cute. Has a value of $29. This petite palette is packed with all the shadows you need for your glam travels. A collection of eight warm and cool tones, soft shades in matte, satin, and metallic finishes help you create endless looks that will catch everyone's eye. I love it. But yeah, that was my box. I feel like we did have some hits. <laughs> But we also have some misses. I am not sure how I feel about the concealer or the lipstick at all. And then I'm also sad that I got a product that's not cruelty free in the box and I didn't notice until after. That was my mistake, but still I wish more cruelty free products were going around. I hate that we have to pick and choose what we pick out here. But also my Anastasia Primrose palette being shattered and broken into like pieces kind of makes me sad because all the other shades are nice. It's only the shimmers that are broken. But I'm sure this happened to a lot of people because I'm sure this formula has softer shimmers than the Modern Renaissance and the Soft Glam do because they did change their formula since those two palettes came out. So this is a little softer pressed and I feel like that kind of made it so that the shades would break on trans it so i'm kind of sad about that but i mean what can i do really the rest of the box was insane i am so happy to have modern renaissance and the soft glam 2 definitely standouts for me though would be the kate somerville the sunscreen and the cream bronzer i really enjoyed the way this looked on me so i'm really happy to use it again i feel like it blended out super easy and i'm really happy with it and that was my first ipsy icon box featuring anastasia beverly hills what did you think of your box what did you think of my box did you enjoy it what are your initial thoughts on this i would love to hear from you in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching and for clicking on this video it means a lot to me if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel down below and i will see you in my next video bye into essential es into essential es dark circles puffy eye it's powered by vitamin c and niacinamide to help reduce dark circles d it's formulated oh it's not cruelty free fuck oh. it's full of antioxidants use this one a collection of eight warm and cool 